why are long-term bond yields going up while central banks are bringing rates down? So when central banks cut rates, it gets cheaper to borrow money for the short term. Normally, that also makes long-term interest rates go down, but not this time. In the US, long-term bond yields are climbing because of inflation fears and due to Trump's pressure on the Fed to cut rates. Why? Because America has $30 trillion worth of debt and $9 trillion due for financing within the year. Lower rates means cheaper financing, but investors are seeing it as inflationary and demanding more yield. Aggravating the problem is the fact that the long disinflation trend, driven by cheap goods manufactured in China, is over. This isn't just America. Developed markets around the world have seen long-dated yields jump too. In some cases, governments have struggled to sell long bonds at acceptable prices. Why? Demand has dried up. Less demand from an aging population as savings falls, less demand from central banks as the era of quantitative easing is over, and less demand from pension funds as pension systems are shifting from defined benefit to defined contribution. So what can policymakers do? Going their way out by boosting productivity and economic expansion is tough, with global growth slowing. Austerity is politically toxic, so the most likely path is financial repression, which basically means governments will keep the interest rate artificially low despite high inflation. In effect, savers subsidize borrowers, including governments, as inflation quietly eats away at the value of their money. Or governments could create new demand, like stablecoins, that are tied to treasury bills, a likely reason why we see massive support for the Genius Act in America. For investors, banks might benefit from higher net interest margins, but property and highly indebted firms will feel more pain. Growth stocks could also struggle, since higher discount rates make future profits worth less today. And long-duration bonds, they're hit hardest, because a small change in interest rates will have an outsized impact on the price of long-duration bonds. That's why we're cautious on the broader market and expect some short-term volatility. For an even deeper analysis on what this all means, read Tong's portfolio, only in The Edge.